Hello everyone, welcome back to our video messages for all of our families. Our next big event is our fall parent-teacher conferences. This is an important day for you to get in touch with your teachers, of your, of your student, find out how they're doing and get the full scoop on how things are going in school. Those dates are October 6th and 7th and you've seen on the website and communication from the schools how to sign up, but I really encourage you. You can do that either in person or in Zoom, just make it work for you. And then following that Wednesday and Thursday, that Friday, will be a day off of school, as well as October 11th, the Monday, which is the Columbus Day holiday, will be another day off of school. And while we're on the topic of different school day schedules, I want to let you know that our next early dismissal is October 20th. Once a month, we have early dismissal days for our staff. It's important staff development time, time for teachers to talk about students, learning, teaching, and all the things going to be very organized. So that's an afternoon dismissal where our students go home early and our staff will stay. Once a month we have these days and we'll always send you an email and a reminder the night before so you know when these days are coming. But they all are on our school calendar which you can find on our website. September 15th was the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month and obviously we celebrate that here in Harvard with a great population we have and the diversity it brings our whole entire community. We'll be celebrating that and I wanted to let you know that our next bi-weekly video like this I'll be doing in Spanish. It'd be great for our families to hear Spanish as the primary voice uh, coming in this and we'll have obviously the subtitles in English. We want to celebrate with all of our community our Hispanic heritage. Also want to mention everyone that we're doing really a great job all things considered with all of our health and safety protocols. Overall, we've really had very few positive cases in our buildings. It's been really good uh, because our families have kept students home when they are ill. We've not had more exclusions than necessary because people are doing a great job of taking all of our strategies seriously. The masking, uh, the symptom checking, and all those things that are really important so we can keep students in school and keep them healthy as much as possible. It's really been good. Now, if you are contacted because you are a close contact, that's the process of exclusion. And we'll always work with family on an individual basis because as we learn, no two situations are the same. They ride different buses, involved in different activities, sit in different lunchrooms around different students. There's a lot of variable cases. So if we do have to do contact tracing involving your child, know that we'll reach out to you directly and really talk you through the process. It's certainly not a lot of fun to go through that. We want to take it very seriously so we can keep everyone as healthy and safe as we can. We also know that many of you are curious when shield testing will be up and going. We're hoping that that'll be within the week or two. We're not sure exactly the final date when they'll be ready, but we are pressing the district's done everything possible to be ready and we're just waiting for shield testing to be ready to us. And as soon as that's ready, we'll make sure everyone knows the week it starts. In a previous video message, I mentioned our parent input committee, which meets with me on a three times a year basis. We've retitled that. We're going to call it the Superintendent Parent Council. Our first meeting is on October 19th. If you want to get involved in that, you can always uh, email us here at the district, and we'd love to invite you to be a part of this important dialogue where we have a chance to talk. D50 communications at CUSD50.org is how you get in touch with us to be a part of that fun opportunity. And finally, I want to encourage you to participate in our ECRA survey. There's only two more days left in our survey that it's open. So please find that. Parents, you were emailed that link a couple times so you can find that. I hope you participate. There's also a community link where we want to hear from members of our community. What we're doing well, where we can improve. It's really important that we have your feedback on that. So only two more days to complete that. So we hope you share in, uh, your input with us. Thank you very much for making Harvard great.